Could it be the end of the red light camera? Only three cities in the entire state still have the controversial traffic enforcement measures. And actually two of them are right here in Bear County. But Garrett Berger tells us that local legislators are now trying to pump the brakes on them. When the state outlawed red light cameras in 2019. Some cities like Balcony Sites and Leon Valley were grandfathered in and allowed to keep theirs. And I can assure you from personal experience with that camera, they are still working. Perception of red light cameras depends on who you ask. I'm not opposed to them. I think they kind of slow traffic down a little bit. I'm okay. I low key think they're pretty dumb too. If they do the job, I'm okay with it. If I'm on the receiving end, I don't like it. But at least some Leon Valley City Council members want them gone. It's not just us. We work for our citizens. So our citizens that they want to get out of it. It's not something that benefits our community. And while the red light camera contracts for Humble and Balcones Heights are supposed to end in 2024, a previous Leon Valley City Council took action to extend its contract into 2038. And when it comes to canceling it, unfortunately, we can't short of legislative action. San Antonio State Rep Philip Cortez filed a bill in 2021 to void any remaining contracts, but it never made it to a vote. He's trying again this year, along with State Senator Jose Menendez, who filed an identical bill in the Senate. There's no way to tell you something's going to be easy or hard, but you just do your best. The cameras are also controversial because, as attorney Justin Kokett tells us, you don't actually have to pay your, quote, violation. They're not actual misdemeanors, and it won't keep you from registering your car or renewing your license. And since the cameras were banned, Kokett says he's never seen an unpaid bill affect anyone's credit. Throw it away, make a paper airplane out of it, um, line the hamster cage, whatever, but not under any circumstances would I recommend paying it. That was welcome news to me because that violation I had told you about, that was about several months overdue. I'm Gary Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.